All right, folks, the deck is Spiteful Beast Hunter. The goal is to get to your Spiteful Summoners to summon either an 8-drop with Call of the Wild or a 10-drop with Nagrand Slam. We've also got Grand Archivist because both of these are spells that you're more than happy to cast. And then instead of Prince Keliseth, because this deck does run some 2-drops because of Crackling Razor Maw and Galaga Crawler, it runs Shondu Wild Claw to buff up your beasts. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! I want to find a one drop, but this is just pretty good on curve. All right. Well, I kind of want that brand back now, but oh well. Yikes. One drop, please. The two drop. I think I have to coin it out. I can't get behind against aggro druid. Like it trades, but it blocks a buff turn or it makes a buff turn worse. And if I can stick this razor maw into razor maw, I'll just be happy. I've got this next turn. You think that if there's a card that gave your beast lifesteal for the rest of the game, like DK, Jaina for Elementals would that break Hunter and Wild? Um, probably not, but I think it's dangerous to give Hunter healing. Like, I think it's just generally a bad idea to allow... I mean, there's a reason there's no Hunter cards that heal. How's Ace Hunter Crean performing? Uh, he hasn't come into play yet, so... Can't say for sure yet. Wow, that is... That is not a good hit for or an opener for the opponent. I just take them off the board. Wait to spike on uh, turn six if I can. I think I would really like to hit a um, escaped mana saber here. Hey, wait, is this... is this my Spiteful Druid? I know this deck. Let's take him off the board. This weapon is so good in this deck. Because one of the problems with uh, Spiteful decks is that you... you can't make proactive plays onto the board, or rather reactive plays onto the board, because you, um... you don't have spells, so you... If you get behind, you just kind of lose, and um, this helps you correct that. All right, they're probably drawing into their unspiteful here, but the the yeah the weapon pairs really well with uh, with spiteful, so. We're more likely to hit the Grand Slam than the Call of the Wild. <laughs> I know how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. How is mine worse? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely my deck. I think I ran that at least. Oh. Okay. Um, let's go here first. Give me them burbs. Next 10 drop will be a 4-4 four four now. Is there even a 4 mana or a 4-4-10 four four drop? Alright. UI your own face. Come on. Eh? 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 My hand 
is too full. That was not their own face. I just checked, you got the two worst 10 drops you could have gotten in those past two games? <laughs> Sounds about right. Alright, uh, this is likely to hit the survival. Oh my god, don't do this to me again. Okay. I could get patches value here. Or I could go for a lethal. With the Grand Slam. I don't think we ever die here, so maybe I just clear their board. With this and this. Because I don't even have the board space for a great and a grand slam here, so let's do that. They can't win without a board. Is Zill too greedy with only four expensive spells? I'm, what's Zill Zilliax? What does he have to do with spells? Oh, they have all of their uh, expensive cards. Rip. So it turns out Ace Hunter Kreen is pretty good in this deck. Priest, um, I don't feel like the Spring Paw is that great. I don't even know if the True Aim Crescent is good. I think I just want to like get to Mana Saber and um, and Spiteful as soon as I can. There's the Mana Saber at least. I drive Bumblebee. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate that support. I do not like your invention. That is a spiteful. So I get it on turn five. It seems all right. And then I can save the coin for maybe like an archivist on seven. Thanks. I guess I get a turn four <laughs> spiteful summoner now. Not quite what was Is Mana Saber vital to the deck? I yeah. Uh gets you to the um Gets you to the spitefuls a turn earlier. I could actually go here and then attack again. so that I can kill the Dirty Rat and then get this in play. Wow! We might lose the, uh, yeah. The board. <laughs> Entirely. At least we get that one extra mana. I've got this still. It's not the end of the world. I changed my mind. It's the end of the world. That's a 10 drop. Alright. I mean, this is slightly better into Feoris. Yeah, we're having some rough spitefuls, aren't we?
There's no such thing as a good 10 drop, not today at least. That's a really good hit, right? Plus attack. It's a 50-50 for a Grand Slam, which is almost certainly lethal next turn. Death Knight incoming? I mean, that's fine, right? I only have one minion that it kills. Alright. I guess we don't get a kill with the uh, Nagrand Slam because of board space. Oh no, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> that makes us worse into, um, into Anduin. What's the worst class right now? Mathematics for sure. This is very likely to be lethal. Easy. Just attack and play nothing? Why not why not get lethal instead? Keep these three? Do I even I don't think I keep the Zixor. I've got better three mana minions than that. Tracker is one of them. Have I ever tried a spiteful priest deck? Yep. Uh there's at least one video of it over on YouTube. Bluffmost card was kept, so it could be Quest Shaman. I'm sure I've done spiteful decks for every class other than maybe Demon Hunter. It's just about to leave. I think I want to retain the coin. Even though it makes it more... Eh, it doesn't even make it that much more likely that I hit a Razor Maw target. What am I drinking? I'm drinking water. I'll let this eat the weapon swing. I'm just fine with that. This does die to um, Jade Lightning, but if it survives, no, we get value off of it, which we don't because they devolved it. I am okay with that. I want to find Spiteful here. Yep. So we're just going to coin that out next turn. Do you think Shondu should give Beast in your hand plus one, plus one, or is that too strong for three mana? I think it's fine as is. I don't... Like, it's a good card. It doesn't need to be changed, in my opinion. I want to save the weapon swing, so just double trade into this. That was more likely because I have the Grand Slam in hand. Missed two damage. Uh, should have been more patient. Although, maybe I don't want to make this a 3-9. That might be, like, the three extra health on that might be worth, uh, two damage. Either way, I should have waited. It's pretty good. Ooh, 13 mana Call of the Wild. Alright, let's see what we get here. We're looking for another Spiteful, I guess. Time is now. 
Next turn is probably something involving these two, so like just getting the hero powers in seems good here. They might have some healing, and we haven't seen any duplicates, but... What's that legendary doing? He's just hanging out. Hey, End. Welcome to the stream. Bzzz. Hey, there's a Spiteful. Okay. Well, that changes this turn, I guess. Let's just uh, go ahead and make some board space because I want to start making room for the, um, the Call of the Wild and uh, New Grand Slams. Turlin should be a Shaman Paladin dual class with Wind Fury. See, now that is um, that is a good point because it reminds me of why Twitch chat should not be in charge of game balance. Does attacking the enemy face with Turlorian make the hero HP uh, 3 HP? I don't think we're going to get much value off of the Galaco Crawler against Mage, but at least we have a two drop. An incredible discovery. Just get that River Croc out there. It's not bad. Uh, I can clear the Arcanologist. And uh, just set a strong board state here. We're weak to Flame Ward, but it's like, unless they play a um, Kieran Tor Mage alongside it, it's not that strong of a turn. We have many secrets. I think I'd rather have the minions this turn. Stocked up! Thank you for gifting that sub. Really appreciate that. Put in an option that says I'll do something with channel points when I have time. I mean... <laughs> I want to try and find something defensive for the Zigzor here. So I might lose the Crackling to... Um, Flame Ward, but... thousand channel points do a board interaction i mean yeah i'm fine with that but like i don't know most of the things are super intrusive in terms of the content that i regularly create excuse me you are on fire which i uh, go face here He's really counting on that living, so this isn't buffed, but, like, I would have rather had the Shondo on the board. That's a thick boy. Uh, this is probably getting counterspelled, so I'm not in a big hurry to, to play that. Uh, Blue Train, I think you can. It's just then I'll get people asking why it was removed. <laughs> um, 
but I think I might remove it anyway. I should have uh, attacked face last turn. Oh. Okay. Well, they're dead. Never mind. I was really counting on that being counterspell. Can we get a sneak peek into them legs? Yeah, over on the uh, Mizaki Mage video. That was posted two weeks ago. It's an awkward hand. I want to pace out my resources a little bit. Um, like, I don't want to just throw the spring pot out there and then have it get daggered down or something. Oh. Okay. Probably want to save this now. Maybe just double trade into that. Does the hero power matter? The question because uh, I'm less mana efficient. I'm just gonna. I don't really care about the the warps. I want to get this down next turn. So that I could potentially double up the Spiteful. If that's dirty tricks, the opponent's going to be big sad. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try this. Let's go face. I'm confident it'll stick. Tink will clear this, uh, so will Deadly Poison. So it's not likely the brand sticks, but it's like we're never getting a better brand opportunity than this, right? So might as well go for it. That's more likely with the, the Grand Slam in hand, but it's still a Ragnaros, right? Okay. I feel like he could have gotten... No, that's... No, not true. I think I just go face here. I, like, I can't play around secrets when they're all randomly generated. There's no... There's no point. As long as I just like am cautious of um, things like uh, freezing trap. So this just attacks first. You aren't even ready for this. Yep. I wanted to avoid sending that back to hand as well. I think that went about as well as it could have gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I hate playing against Denar so much. I mean that went that went pretty well. Like, all things considered. Yeah, obviously Hanar's Difficult to manage, but but we could be in a lot worse spot. Students, Not sure what that did. Maybe they thought they were going to get another copy. It's not ambush. Feel the breeze. 
could be another cheat death, so might as well just kill that off. Plagiarize, yeah. That is fine. Three mana, one one rush. <laughs> Power plays. Yep, probably ice block. Don't let the door hit you. What about this one? Ah. I want to play around uh, Flame Ward. Duplicate is fine. Uh, it's lethal if we hit the Nagrand Slam. Oh no, it's not because I oh, I played. The okay, we missed it anyway. But I shouldn't have played the uh, the warp. I should have uh, checked damage first. Please no Frost Nova. Or Ice Block for that matter. At least the animation takes forever. What a horrendous top deck, are you kidding me? I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> Alright. I think that's enough of that deck. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, and Keenan.